Hi, my name is Hans Lee. I'm a multiple myeloma specialist at MD Anderson Cancer Center in Houston, Texas. And today I'm going to be discussing some of the highlights of an abstract presented at the ASCO 2020 virtual annual meeting, looking at outcomes of multiple myeloma patients treated with Bolantum mfadotin uh, who had renal insufficiency. So just as a little background, um, Bolantum mfadotin is a BCMA targeting antibody drug conjugate that's been studied in both phase one and phase two studies. Notably, um, the DREAM2 study was a phase two randomized study that evaluated patients with relapsed refractory multiple myeloma with at least three prior lines of therapy and who are refractory to IMIDs, protease inhibitors, and refractory or intolerant to anti-CD38 monoclonal antibodies. And what the study showed was that Belantamab mephidotin was efficacious and safe in this patient population with a 31% response rate in patients dosed at 2.5 milligrams per kilogram every 21 days and a response rate of 34% in patients dosed at 3.4 milligrams per kilogram. So in the abstract that I'm going to be discussing, we were interested in looking at if there are any differences and the outcomes in terms of both efficacy and safety in, in patients with normal renal function and those with mild or moderate renal impairment in patients dosed with bolantamab mafetotin. And in order to perform this analysis, we looked at patients enrolled on the DREAM2 study and divided them up into three different groups. So the first group of patients were those with normal kidney function, and this comprised about one-fourth of the study population. The second group of patients were those with mild renal impairment, which consisted of about one half of the study population. And the third group of patients were those who had moderate renal impairment, which consisted of about one fourth of the study population. And it's important to note that patients with severe renal impairment, which is defined as a glomerular filtration rate of less than 30 milliliters per minute, or those on hemodialysis were not eligible to enroll on the DREAM2 study, so we don't have data for that. So when performing this analysis and after performing the analysis, we found um, that there were no differences in the overall response rates, duration of response, or progression-free survival in patients with normal renal function, mild renal impairment, or moderate renal impairment. So the efficacy of the drug seemed to be the same in the three different groups. And just as importantly, the safety profile was also very similar in the three different groups. So there was slightly increased anemia, which is a low red blood cell count, and thrombocytopenia, which is a decrease in the platelet count, and the patients with mild or moderate renal impairments. But overall, the safety uh, profile, the safety signals were the same amongst the three groups. And notably, uh, the incidence of keratopathy, um, which is uh, basic uh, inflammation of the cornea, uh, which is a known side effect of Blantum mafedotin, was similar uh, among the three different groups with normal, mild, or moderate renal impairment. So this particular study um, is very important to multiple myeloma patients because we know that many myeloma patients have some degree of kidney impairment, either due to age or due to the nature of myeloma itself, that we know that myeloma can negatively impact kidney function. And so we are definitely in need of new myeloma treatments um, in 2020, particularly patients who are refractory to drugs that are currently FDA approved. And so knowing that there are promising therapies on the horizon in which patients with mild or moderate renal impairment can take, both uh, from a safety standpoint, but also without compromised efficacy, is very important to know about uh, drugs that are coming down the pipeline. And um, lastly, you know, I think it's important to note that we don't know um, the safety and efficacy profile uh, of blentamethadone in patients with more severe renal impairment. So patients with, again, GFRs of less than 30 milliliters per minute or those who uh, are on hemodialysis, uh, the um, blentamethadone is not renally metabolized. So it's very possible that this drug could be um, efficacious and safe in this particular patient population, more severe renal impairment, but those studies um, need to be performed um, and we'll wait that data when that, that becomes available.